Hello friends, I am Dr. Marathe from the Department of Metrology. Today, I will discuss about one of the mechanism by which ATP formation process occurs and that process is known as substrate level phosphorylation. All of you know that substrate level phosphorylation and oxidative phosphorylation these are the two different mechanisms of ATP formation processes. Okay, means whenever there is ATP formation process occurs, either the ATPs are formed by substrate level phosphorylation or by oxidative phosphorylation. Okay, so today we will discuss about the substrate level phosphorylation and in my next video I will discuss about the oxidative phosphorylation. So what is meant by substrate level phosphorylation? Substrate, as the name itself indicates its meaning, substrate level phosphorylation means in this case substrate is the high energy phosphate group donor. I am saying donor that donates that high energy phosphate group to ADP, adenosine diphosphate and that becomes ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Okay. That means ATP formation process occurs at substrate level. That's why the name is given substrate level phosphorylation. Okay. So the two reason I want to explain this concept or phenomena by using two examples. These two reactions are from EMP pathway, Emden Mayro Parnas pathway, where there are two substrate level phosphorylation reactions. The first one is first one is conversion of 1,3 biphosphoglycerate to 3 phosphoglycerate. 1,3 biphosphoglycerate that is 1,3 by PGA, 1,3 biphosphoglycerate to 3 phosphoglycerate. 3 PGA. Okay. Now during the reaction, what happens? The conversion of ADP to ATP. Okay. During the conversion of this 1,3-biphosphoglycerate to 3-phosphoglycerate, ADP is converted into ATP. And this reaction is catalyzed by 1,3-biphosphoglycerate kinase. 1, by PGA kinase. Okay. Now, what happens during the reaction? Conversion of ADP to ATP means from somewhere the high energy phosphate group it is linked to ADP that becomes ATP. So, who is the high energy phosphate group donor? So, this somehow 1, 3 by phosphoglycerate. Its structure, I will draw the structure. It is like this C O P H C O H C H two O P. Okay, this is a three, three carbon containing compound. Okay, so it contains two phosphate group. But out of these two phosphate group, one phosphate group at the position of carbon number one. It is linked by high energy phosphate bond. So this high energy phosphate bond along with the phosphate, it is called as a high energy phosphate group. Okay. So during the reaction by the enzyme kinase, hydrolysis of this bond occurs. Hydrolysis. Okay. And due to the hydrolysis, obviously when we say hydrolysis means there is a splitting of water molecule like H plus OH minus. Okay. So H plus and OH minus. So this bond is broken down. This bond it is broken down. Okay. So due to the breaking of this bond, what remains on this C O C O and OH from splitting of water molecule. So we can write here C O O H. We can write here that C O OH remaining structure as it is CHC OH and CH2OP. 
This is known as 3 phosphoglycerate. So during the reaction, this high energy phosphate group is transferred to ADP that becomes ATP and due to the loss of this phosphate group, this becomes what? 3 phosphoglycerate. This is one of the representative examples of substrate level phosphorylation. Another example in this case, it is what the second example is conversion of the last reaction of the that is the last reaction that is the last reaction of the glycolysis it is conversion of phosphoenol pyruvate to pyruvate PTP is converted to pyruvic acid pyruvate means pyruvic acid okay during the reaction same thing happens ADP is converted to ATP Okay, and the react enzyme is pyruvate kinase. Pyruvate kinase. Now the structure is CH2 C O T is a double bond and C O O H. This is the structure of hospital pyruvate. Now during reaction, same thing happens. Conversion of ADP to ATP means ADP is used the high energy phosphate group form phosphoenol pyruvate. Okay, and that becomes CH3 C double bond O and COOH. Obviously, it is also accompanied by the splitting of water H2O into H plus and OH minus. Okay. And this reaction is carried by pyruvate kinase. So these are the two most common reactions in the glycolysis where the substrate level phosphorylation occurs. The substrate itself is a donor for high energy phosphate group. Okay. Another reaction from the glycolysis where the sorry on the TCA cycle where the succinyl OA is converted to succinate during that reaction GDP plus GTP GDP plus PI it is converted into GTP. Okay, but this time this bond energy is supplied by the coenzyme A, high energy bond coenzyme A. Okay, so in the succinyl coa there is a high energy bond, that bond is broken down, that provides the energy to couple the GDP plus TI to form what? GTP. And from the GTP again ATP is formed. So these are the representative examples of substrate level phosphorylation by which ATP formation takes place. Hope you must have understood. Thank you very much.